The pelvic floor muscle. Where is your pelvic floor muscle? If we look at the diagram here, you have your bladder here, the opening of the vagina here, and your back passage here. The pelvic floor muscle is the hammock of muscles protecting your internal organs. So pregnancy. When, we're, when women are pregnant, where do they put on the weight in pregnancy? They put on the weight, extracellular fluid, about 1.4 kgs. They put on extra fat, which is about 3.5 kgs, give or take. Your breast size increases by about 400 grams. The babies, the weight of your baby growing is about 3.5 kgs, give or take. Extracellular fluid is about 1.4 kg. Extra blood vo volume in the system is about 1.5 kg. The placenta weighs about one-fifth of your baby's birth weight, which is about 600 grams. The amniotic fluid weighs about 800 grams. And your uterus increases in size, which weighs about 900 grams. So I've placed these on a towel. The towel is to represent your pelvic floor muscle. And if I was inside in the class, I would ask your partners to hold the towel taut. By placing the weights that women, representing that women put on during pregnancy, the towel would start sinking a little. So that's to represent the weight of the pregnancy, the baby coming through the birth canal, that the pressure it is putting on your pelvic floor muscle. So if you make a cough or you sneeze, and there might be a little dri dribble of urine, alarm bells are ringing that my pelvic floor is not working as it should be. Dribbling or being incontinent post-childbirth is not a normal part of, of childbirth. So you need to do something about it. You need to talk to your GP, your public health nurse, or the physiotherapy. During your hospital stay, you have access to the physiotherapy, so if there is any problems, you need to sort it out. You need to do something about it. So what we recommend is doing the pelvic floor exercises. So the pelvic floor exercises, and this is the way I teach it, should be done about three times a day. So how do we actually isolate the pelvic floor muscles? If you make a fist, and if you cough into your fist, <laughs> you can feel the muscles, the pelvic floor muscles, just bulging in between your legs. Let's just do that again. <coughs> and of course, you can wash your hands afterwards. Um, but what we want to do now is, if you just become aware of your breathing, just relax your muscles. The breath, taking the breath in, the rise and fall of the breath. So what I want you to do now is just tighten up your back passage muscles around your rectum, like you're preventing yourself from passing wind. Squeeze, hold, one, two, three, come on, you can do it, four, and relax the muscle. Squeezing the back passage muscle again, two, three, four, and relax. Now what I want you to do this time is you're squeezing the back passage like you're preventing yourself from passing wind, okay, and you're bringing it up towards the front passage. So squeeze, bring it up towards the front passage, don't forget to breathe, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and relax the muscle. So what you should be doing is doing some long ones and some short ones. How often should you be doing them? Three times a day for life.